Okay, just like in the one sensor measurement mode, we do provide an analog output with, with two sensors as well. And uh, let me show you what that would look like. I'm gonna make sure to set it to absolute. So right now, the width of the web is eight inch. Width of the web measured by the two sensors is eight inches. And if you go and look at the value on the oscilloscope, that's gonna show you a value representative of the width of the web. So the current value is close to 4.2 volts. When we have two sensors and we are getting the analog output, it is important to note what that analog output value. Even though we are displaying the output on the screen as 8.4 inches, the output that we are gonna get from the analog signal is not gonna to correspond to 8.4 inches. And the reason why is that the measurement shown on this screen includes the distance between the two sensors. The measurement provided on the analog output side does not include that distance or the gap between the two sensors. The analog output is going to provide a value that is whatever the portion of the left edge of the sensor is and whatever the portion of the right edge position of the sensor is, those proportional value is what is going to be output on the analog output. If you are using the an analog to digital converter to look at that value, you still need to know the distance between the two sensors to find the absolute width. The output will always provide you the relative width without the distance between the two sensors. Okay, now similarly, we can also provide the, the error as the output. And you can go in and you can see that this is the error. Three thousandth of an inch is the error from this particular measurement and if you go into the analog if you go into the oscilloscope you can see that this corresponds to basically 5 volts and if I have something in here that increases the width it's going to provide you an output that is going to be different than 5 volts again the way in which we compute this output is going to be whatever the error value is let's say we have the error as 1 inches or one inch and then the output is going to be five plus whatever that one inch correspond to with respect to the sensors that are used. So if we have two four inch sensors then the error output one inch is going to be one divided by the sum of the two sensor ranges let's say four inches each so that's eight inches so that's one eighth times the output range because it's an error, the output goes from 0 to 5 volts if you have a 0 to 10 volts output range. So you just add that to it. So that will be 1 8 times 5 plus 5, essentially. That's what that output would be. And then and if you have a plus or minus 10 volts, again, it will be 0 would be the baseline. And then you have 1 8 times 10. So that's 1.25. So the output would be 1.25 as the output. That's the way in which we provide the error output when we use two sensors. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more information about our products and how we can help you. Thanks.